right, so today we're going to be working on making these awesome fish um, that are paper weaved. So as you can see on the back, it looks like a placemat and it just has the paper and things glued on. And we've read the book, There's Only One You. And we looked at a lot of different patterns and the use of color and so forth. So the first thing you're going to get is a piece of paper that is this large 12 by 18. And what I want you to use is a pencil first. So with your pencil, we want to make a huge oval. And I find it's easier if I do four dots all the way around on my paper so I can get an idea of using this whole space to make an oval. And what I'll try to do is I'm going to make a rainbow-ish curve here and here. And it doesn't need to be perfect. And then you just kind of drag it down and back up. So it could be a little off and that'll make your fish even more unique. Once you're done, um, what I want you to do is put your pencil back and take out a pair of scissors. Using your scissors, you're going to cut out your fish on that line that you created. Remember you're doing cut, slide, cut, slide. Turn your paper and you know you hold, cut, slide, cut, slide. And you notice that as I'm moving, I'm moving my paper with me. And I move my hands to help myself just a little bit easier to get the cuts. Perfect. So I'm going to turn it this way. All right. And so now since several of us have chosen a piece of paper, what we're going to do is save these paper scraps and we're going to use each other's different colors to make our fins and the tail. So we'll use that in a little bit. All right, the next thing is we're going to put our scissors away. And then you're going to have a box of crayons. So with your crayons, I want you to come up with a really neat pattern. Um, but first, you want to make some space for where your fish's face is going to be. So you can do some nice scales like this, right, in order to get this um, feature here. And then you can make your fish's face and mouth um, and eyes. So come up with any type of eyes that you're looking at um, that you might be fun for you to come up with is what I mean. So you could have like a little shiny in there. Change up your colors. Maybe I want mine to have these kind of green sparkles inside. Okay. And could have this cool, you know, just think about the paper and everything that you have and how you're going to make your fish stand out. So you can have a fun face can always go back in and do little scales. So I want you to focus on coming up with some fun details on your fish. And you can see with my example here that I continued with more scales. And inside some of the scales I did polka dots. Inside some of the other scales, I'll zoom in here. You can see I did polka dots and then I did stripes. And then I just went into some basic colors um, and kind of kept a pattern and made it really stand out in that way. So I'd love for you to work on doing those different patterns first. The next thing is you'll notice I'm going to come around and what I'm going to do is fold your fish in half and on that back side I'm going to take a marker or a crayon and I'm going to do a couple lines 
depending on how big your fish is. I'm going to make a few lines and what I would like you to do is then take your scissors and you're going to cut those lines with your paper folded and you're going to stop it where I stopped on the paper here. Perfect. Once you're done cutting, we always put our tools back. So scissors back. And then you can open it up and you'll see now we have that weaving loom that we were talking about, that really cool loom. And so the next step is to start our paper weaving. All right, so the next thing is our paper weaving. And you'll notice at your table I have a tray with a variety of different paper colors and choices. So I recommend you just take one out at a time. And I'll start with a larger one so you can see. Here is a nice purple. So the first thing I'm going to do is when you weave, we're gonna pretend it's a dolphin going over the water and under the water and over the water and under the water. So right here, I'm gonna have my dolphin go over this first piece. I'm going to lift up this panel and go under, and it's gonna go over and under, just like that. And then flip your fish over. I'm gonna take another piece of paper, and I do the same thing. This one's over, and then I'm gonna go under over, under, over, like that. And I slide it over, like that. Now, my fish is gonna do a flip, whee, bloop. And I'm gonna take another color. I'm gonna go over, under, over, under, slide. And then my fish is going to do a flip. And I'll take another color. Over the first one. Under, over, under, over, slide, and flip. So you're gonna do this until you fill up all of your fish, which is pretty fun and nice, right? So again, I'm gonna go over and under, over, under, and over. And this one, if I slide it, there's no room here, but that's okay. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna flip my paper over, and there's two things. You could either glue with the glue stick at your table your ends, or, I can come around and help just tape down a few of your pieces so they don't move. And that just makes things a little easier, you know? Um, this little guy is sliding around, so I'm going to stop that one. And then what you'll do is you'll take your scissors again, but this time you're going to cut off your extra pieces that were sticking out, okay? So I'm going to cut off as best as I can without cutting my poor little fishy. You can see these are loose and that's okay because we have it taped on the back. But again, if you really want to, after you cut these, you could always use your glue stick. And if you get your fish a little bit, that's okay too. Okay, so now that my fish is done, the next thing you're going to do, and you can keep these scraps, which are really fun, that you could actually glue onto your fins. So we're going to create our fins next. I have my scrap table, uh, or scrap bin in the back, and what you can do with your scraps is you're just going to pick a couple colors, and I just ripped up these scraps a little bit because I don't need all of them. 
and I chose these three little colors, right? What I'm going to do is I am going to just cut my own little kind of fins. You can make your fins any way you want. So I cut out these two. This will be my bottom one, and this will be my top one, like that. Okay. And then my last one, I'll have this be my tail. So I'm just going to cut out a fun little tail. Like this. So I'm going to flip my fish over. And, well, that glue stick's not going to work. There we go, that's much better. What I'm going to do is I put the glue in this place that I want my fin to go. Just a little bit of glue goes a long way. And then right back here. Perfect. So now when I flip my, oh, I did the wrong way. My fish has a nose. Silly Mrs. Holland. There we go. Now my fishy doesn't have a nose, it has a little tail. So now that I've finished that, you can either use the crayons to add more details, or you could just add on, and you can see somebody else's little scraps here. I had their name on it, and that's completely fine. I can just add on little pieces, you know, just make it a little fun and different. Like this. Little pieces go a long way. So I love using scraps. It gives it a little bit more character. And you can keep decorating your fins. And that is our project. And then you'll see what our extra art challenge is with the rest of our 